going to move on to users and teams now. So if you navigate to the users section in the menu, um, that's the current users on this account. If you've got any available seats from your subscription, then you'll be able to go to the pink menu button and add a new user. If you have reached the maximum number of seats that your subscription will allow, then you'll get a prompt asking you to go to your account page as the, ad, as the um, account owner, and you'll be able to up the number of users on your subscription first. Um, once you've gone past that, then you open the new user form like this. So you start with just putting in a name and an email. Um, and then you can go down the list of permissions and just set whichever permissions you want for that particular worker. Um, more depth on different types of permissions and what the different users can access can be found in modules two to seven. Um, so I'm not gonna go through that all now. Um, once you've saved those details, that worker will get an email sent to the email that you um, entered here, asking them to activate their account, and then they'll be able to log into the app, set their own password for securely logging in, and they'll be able to access the work that you have assigned to them from there. Um, sorry, I meant to do one more thing. Um, you can also add attachments from here as well. So you could add an employment contract or um, a, a profile picture or anything like that on there in the same way that you've added um, attachments in the past. So say we've got that and any kind of policy documents that you wanted to add on there and then they'll exist on that worker as well. Um, in addition to this, if you've got um, anybody with admin rights and up, so admins and owners, you can also select the push notifications that you've got enabled from here as well. So if you click into here, these are all of the ones that are available um, and you can just deselect de any that you don't want those particular users to see. Once you've set up your users, you might want to set up some teams. So teams are just created by adding individual users to a team. So this one, we've got a team name and we've got these team members. If we go in and edit it, you'll see that you can create a temporary team as well if you want to. So this one I've set up as a permanent team, but if I set it up as a temporary team, I can just set the dates when it's active from and active to, and then that team doesn't exist after that. All of the users that are assigned to a particular team get the work that's assigned to that team in their My Work section and on their day pilot as well.